Hey, Kota. Our test results are on the display board. You're 10th place in the grade. Congrats! Thanks. Amagi, you're number one in the grade again, right? You're way better than me. Don't belittle yourself. 10th is really splendid. You said you were not good at studying, but you really studied hard. And the results show it. That's not an easy thing to do. I think it's pretty cool, you know? Uh, Amagi, I blush easily, so please stop. <laughs> You're blushing. By the way, why did you suddenly begin studying so hard? <sighs> That's, uh... You have a reason for it? Can you tell me? Maybe next time... <laughs> I can't tell her. I really wanted her to notice me, so I made the effort. My name's Koda Yoshida. Until very recently, I was a high school student who was poor at studying. I met Amagi through the student council, and we became friends. There's no one kinder than her. Beautiful, she has a cute smile, that's the kind of girl I fell in love with. But Amagi is always the most talented student in our school, whereas I'm a study dropout. I thought I could never match up to her, and so I chickened out of love. There's a reason why I began studying so much. One day, on the way home, I summoned my courage and asked Amagi what kind of guy was her type. Hmm, I like a guy who's not good at something, but he really tries hard to do his best. That's because I think people who make an effort are cool. It sounded pretty simple to me, but by the chances of hearing those words, I started to work hard at studying. What's the matter? Are you thinking of something? Uh, no. I was just thinking that I'd like to catch up to you, Amagi. The number one student. Let's each do our best. Each do our best? I see. It might be good to do it the two of us. So, uh, if you're okay, then why don't we have a study session together? Uh, do you mean it? If you don't mind, Kota, what do you think? Of course it's okay. Alright. A study session is like a situation with just the two of us. It's practically a date. Okay, then let's make a plan. Are you free this Saturday? Yeah, no problem. Where should we meet up? Um, I wonder. Would it be okay if I came over to your house? My house? I was thinking that while talking and studying at a house is better. If I'd be troubling you, then it's totally fine. No, it isn't any trouble at all. My parents are both away for a while of business, so they're not home. It's just me and my little sister. So I think you wouldn't need to feel strangely while you're over. Oh, you and your sister live there? Just the two of you? Yeah, she's a good age and a spoiled child. A bit problematic. Spoiled, hmm. So you really love your sister, huh? Uh, Amagi? Your eyes are looking a little scary right now. No, it's nothing. Now let's decide a time later on, okay? Saying that, Amagi went back to her seat. She was about to say something, but I wonder what it was. Well, anyway, more importantly, I have to make sure we get along well for our study session. I sat down in my seat and was finally relieved of my nervousness. What should I do? It looks like I'm going to Kota's house. I suggested it expecting him to say no. I didn't think he'd be okay. I wanted to suggest it very naturally. Kota didn't figure out that I like him, did he? Uh, I'm going to be really excited from now on. But this is my chance. I want to get along well with him and have Kota be well aware of me. As well, I'm curious about his sister he gets along well with. Am I going to lose to his darling sister? Alright, Rico. Give it your best! Come on, let's go! A few days passed, and the day of our study session arrived. Amagi was coming over in the afternoon, so I had to clean up the place in the morning. <laughs> I'm gonna study with Amagi. Big brother, your smile's creepy. What you doing? Slightly shy girl is Yui Yoshida, my younger sister. 
You can see for yourself. I'm cleaning the room. Oh, give up on cleaning. Play a game with me. When I'm done cleaning, okay? Aw, that's no fun. Here's punishment for making your adorable sister evil. I'll do this! J you're grabbing hold of me. <laughs> it's okay, we're brother and sister. For Pete's sake, Yui, you're always demanding attention. Well, that's because I love my big brother. Like that, Yui has a brother complex side to her. I'm really glad to be loved by my sister, but I'm worried if she can part with me in the future. But anyway, you look extremely happy today, huh? Oh, noticed? Well, actually... I told Yui about today's study session plan. You're going to study with a girl? Who is this thieving cat? It's unbelievable! But there's someone in this world who likes my brother! Hey, what you're saying is pretty rude. Besides, Amagi doesn't like me that way, you know. How blind are you? A girl does not visit the house of a boy she doesn't like. Uh, why not? This is not good. My brother will be taken from me by another girl. I have to do something. Yui left the room while muttering to herself. Yui was somehow acting very strangely. Well, whatever. I got back to cleaning. So as to not leave a single speck, I used the vacuum cleaner too, and emptied the wastebasket. Good. Even if I invite her to my room, it'll be fine. It was the afternoon, and I went to wait for Amagi in the living room. Ah, I'm so nervous. So, why don't you play with me? You can relax then. I'm sorry, I can't play with you today, Yui. Oh, uh... Oh, by the way, you left the living room just before. What were you doing? Uh, nothing. I didn't go in your room for anything. I didn't say anything about my room. Uh, uh, you didn't? As I was thinking that something was fishy, the interphone rang. It had to be Amagi. Good afternoon, Kota. Welcome. Come on inside. Thanks for inviting me. My sister's in the living room now. You mind going up to my room? Sure, that's fine. So this is your room, Kota. It's my first time entering a boy's room. I'm a little nervous. It's the first time I invited a girl into my room. <laughs> then that makes me your first, Kota, hey? Huh? S sorry about that. That came out sounding a bit strange, didn't it? I'm a bit too natural and seems I can be a bit annoying. There's no deeper meaning, so forget it. Uh, yeah. That's bad for the heart. I couldn't hear anything but a deeper meaning. I couldn't take the sweet atmosphere anymore, and I opened the door to my room. I'll bring up some drinks and snacks. Just sit yourself anywhere you like. Thanks. Huh? Kota, there's a lot of white things on the floor, and there's a book. What? That's really strange. I know I cleaned the room this morning. Sorry, I'll tidy it up right now. Just, what the heck is this? There were a heap of tissues all over the floor. Next to them was my treasured maid cosplay photo book. It looked just as though I was enjoying myself looking at the photo book. But why? I didn't remember this at all. Of course, it was Yui. She went into my room and did this mischief. So this is that thing, isn't it? No, it isn't, Magi. This is my sister's mischief. Uh, I understand. It's all right, Kota. You're a boy after all. No, you don't understand at all. Well, uh, I'll go back home today. Uh... I'm sorry for interrupting your fun time! It's a misunderstanding. Please, listen to me, Amagi. My excuses were in vain, and Amagi left to go home. Hey, brother. Amagi went home, huh? So you can play with me now. 
Uh, Feather, are you okay? You're totally pale, and your spirit's like coming out of your mouth. Uh, maybe I did a bit too much? I did something wrong, didn't I? <sighs> I didn't have the power to scold Yui. I was completely stunned. I ran out of Koda's house and was walking slowly on the way back home. I got really embarrassed and ran off. But I didn't think that Kota would be doing that. When he calmed down and turned around, I think he said that it was his sister's mischief. Y yeah, that's right. I was coming over so he wouldn't do that, would he? But the photo book was without a doubt Kota's. So that means he likes maids, I wonder. <laughs> I think I found a way to close the distance, Dakota. Yes, yes. This is unmistakably the way to get closer to him than his sister. I was walking home, but altered my course and went to the department store. Even the next day, I was still feeling down. <sighs> I wonder if she hates me. No matter how sweet she is, Amagi wouldn't like a guy who does that. Yui wasn't coming around demanding tension like usual, so I felt out of it. It's possible that she felt the responsibility of her mischief and she was feeling down too. Alright, alright. I'll ask her to play a game with me and we can make up. Somehow saying that, I might have been too sweet to my sister. I thought I'd head over to Yui's room when the interphone rang. I wonder who that is. Delivery? Yes? Uh, Amagi? Well, hello, Kota. Not well, hello. No. Why are you wearing that? Because it seems you like maid cosplay, Kota. So I wore it. Uh... You dressed up in cosplay to match my interest. But why? What do you think of the clothes? Uh... They're really so cute. Y you think so? <laughs> I'm so glad. <laughs> Whoa, that's bright. Amagi's blushing face as a maid is too cute. By the way, do you have any plans for today? No, nothing special. Oh, good. Then I'll give lots of service today for my master. M master Yep, because today, for the whole day, I'll be your exclusive maid, Kota. My personal exclusive maid? The girl my desire, Amagi, was going to give me maid service. What was this divine development? Then, how come in? Kota, is something wrong? Uh, n nothing at all. I'll show you to the living room. And so I showed Amagi to the living room. It's still a bit early for lunch, right? Do you mind if I make it? Uh, no. I couldn't ask you to do that. No need to refuse. I brought what I need. Then I'll prepare lunch for the three of us. Your sister too. Y you will? Thank you. For some reason, Amagi tried to please me by doing what she called service. I was glad that she didn't hate me, but I couldn't understand her behavior. Just what was the purpose of this? Kota, lunch is just about ready. Uh, okay. I'll go call my sister. Without knowing what was going on, it suddenly became lunchtime. Father, did you make a Maki dress like a maid? That is really disappointing. That's not it. She wore the costume here. What? There's no girl who'd do that. There is, right in front of you. While you and I were whispering to each other, the table was being set. That's a delicious looking hamburger steak, Amagi. You're really good at cooking. <laughs> Thank you. I'm really glad. Huh. Go ahead, Yui. Dig in. Okay, I'll have some. How? Hmm? Oh, wow, it's delicious! <laughs> I'm so glad it's to your taste. I'd really like Kota to try my handmade cooking, too. Here, open wide. Uh, what do you think you're doing? I am a maid, therefore I have to feed my master. There aren't any maids out there who act like a new girlfriend. Right, my master? Open wide. Ugh. Even though it was right in front of my little sister, I did as the manding Magi said. 
It's a scary thing when a maid asks you to open wide. Uh, uh... Ugh, you foolish brother! How is it? Good? Uh, uh-huh. It's delicious. What's with you trembling like that? I don't know you anymore, big brother! Yui then gobbled down her food voraciously. Thanks for the lunch! Saying nothing more than that, Yui went out from the living room. There was no need for Yui to get so angry. Since yesterday, her behavior had been strange, and I was a little worried. Er, uh, um, are you concerned about your little sister? Hmm. She doesn't get any attention. She'll act like she's sulking. Sorry, do you mind if I go and check up on her? I see. I caused some trouble. I was thinking only of myself, and I let things get carried away. I'm sorry. Amagi? I wanted to get along with you well, like you do with your sister, Kota. I thought if I dressed up as a maid, I'd be able to close the distance between us. Is that so? Amagi, you really are bold. But it's not going well, huh? Your sister lost her good spirits, and I caused you some trouble. I guess I'm not good, huh? Sitting in front of Amagi as she became depressed, my breast suddenly wanted to cry out. That's not what it did at all, Amagi. I don't think you're causing any trouble. My feelings for you are the same. I wanted to see someone special to me smile. Thinking that, words just naturally flowed out. I was really looking forward to our study session yesterday. That's because I was thinking that I wanted to get along better with you, too. You too, Kota? Of course. My sister is very important to me, but you are important to me too, Amagi. My sister has family. You, Amagi, as a friend. I want the time I spend with each of you to be precious. So this service thing you can step out of it. I just want to get along with you normally, you know? Kota, you're... You're just too sweet. <laughs> You're smiling at last. Alright, so I'll we'll call my sister then. Sure, you go ahead. I then left Amagi with the smile back on her face and went out of the living room. I went to my sister's bedroom and Yui was sitting on the bed and sulking. Hey, you're not cheery, huh? You should go back to Amagi. You like her, right? Well, yeah. But I just can't leave you alone, Yui. You fool. Big brother, you're too sweet. I, uh, I'm sorry about yesterday's mischief. I'm not bothered by it anymore. If you're okay, can you tell me why you did such a thing? Okay, I will. The time I spend together with you is my favorite time. But if you have a girlfriend, you're gonna spend more time with her, right? And I'm going to lose the time that I had to spend with you. Thinking about that made me sad. I couldn't give my support to you, and I went and did such a thing. <laughs> You're so foolish, Yui. Wh why? You don't need to say something like that. I'm sorry, but even if I get a girlfriend, there's no reason why I'd stop spending time with you. That's because I like spending time together with you, too. Big brother, really? Even if you have a girlfriend, you'll still spend time with me? I promise. So cheer up. If you're not being like a demanding kid, I feel something's wrong. Big brother... Aww, you really have a sister complex, you know? Who has a sister complex? I don't want to hear that from my sister for brother complex. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Yui laughed happily. Yeah, yeah. That's the way Yui needs to be treated. Thanks for everything, big brother. You are welcome. Right. To apologize for causing you trouble, I'll talk about relationships. Huh? Wait. Wait. Why are you like this now? Just one piece of advice. You gotta tell her. Tell her? What should I do if she rejects me? You really are blind, aren't you? All right, girls do not visit the house of boys they don't like. But then she came dressed as a maid to serve you. She dressed up in cosplay because she wanted you to be interested. That might be as you expect, but the story doesn't make any sense. He was saying that Amagi wore a maid costume because she wanted to be closer to me. So by that meaning, you've got to tell her right now. 
go, go. Wait, I haven't prepared myself yet. Ugh. I'll be fine. I think Amagi is surely drawn to your hardworking nature and your sweetness. I'm telling you as your little sister, I am not wrong. Yui, all right, I'll go tell her my feelings. Yes, go for it, big brother. I took encouragement from my sister's words and I left the room. Sorry to keep you waiting, Amagi. Oh, I'm glad you're back. How'd it go? Mmm, she seems back to normal. Oh, that's good. Is it okay if I go apologize to her too? Sure. If you knew we can be friends, I'll be glad. But before that, I'd like you to let me tell you something important. Something important? I haven't told you about the reason why I began studying so hard, have I? I wanted to be your type of guy, so I worked really hard at studying. Huh? Y you really did it for me? Yes. You're beautiful, you make an effort, you got a great personality. That's what I like about you, Amagi. You said so before, Amagi, right? Someone who's not good at something but tries his best is cool, you said. You might laugh at me, but... I wanted you to look my way, so I worked hard at what I was poor at. Amagi, would you go out with me? Ota, I'd be so happy to. R really? It's okay? Yes, I too like you because you make an effort and for your kindness. Otherwise, I never would have tried to appeal to you in a main outfit. I see. Thank you. Then I hope you accept me from now on. Me too. I hope you'll accept me too. And so asking her out was successful. Thanks to Yui that I had the courage to ask. I'll have to repay her later. So, Kota... What? It looks like I have become your girlfriend as your exclusive maid. Uh-huh. Shall I give you some service that only a maid girlfriend can do? Uh... What is the service? I was so interested in finding out. Kota, shall I? Well, okay. Then please. Saying that, Amagi took a hold of my arm. Kota. Amagi. Our faces drew closer together. Big brother! Amagi! Congratulations! Uh, what are you doing? Uh, Yui! You, why are you coming in here now? I thought I'd come in to celebrate you telling her your feelings. Why are you getting all flirty? Amagi, don't go making my brother yours exclusively. That is my reserve spot. That's not fair, Yui. Then my reserve spot is right here. So, Amagi. On my right arm was an aggressive maid girlfriend. On my left was my demanding sister of a brother complex. I couldn't keep myself from shouting out loud. It's impossible for you two to get along! <laughs> 